Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you how to UV unwrap a model in Cinema 4D. So you can either texture it in Cinema 4D or export it to Substance Painter and texture it there. Um, it's pretty simple, so hopefully this will be pretty fast. So the first thing we'll talk about is what UV unwrapping is. UV unwrapping is basically the process of skinning your model so that you can lay it flat and apply a flat texture on top of it. So if any of you guys have like wrapped a gift, it's kind of like that. So you have your wrapping paper, which is the flat image, and you're trying to wrap it around a 3D object. So real quick, this model is actually already UV unwrapped. And so if we go over to the UV edit tab over here, and then we click on the model, you can see on the left hand side, this is the hand being laid down flat on an image plane so that we can apply an image on top of that. And if we go over to the polygon selection mode, you can see these white cuts all along the, the hand. So that's where I've indicated the, the computer to cut the, the model so that it can lay it down flat without stretching. Now, you have to identify cuts in order to let some of 4D UV unwrap because for instance, if we go up here and we delete this black and white checker, that's a UV map. If we delete that and then we just tell it to unwrap, we have this mess here. And so that's basically Cinema 4D's attempt to unwrap your model by itself. And so we have to kind of give it some, some guidance to, to know how to unwrap properly so that when we add an image texture on top of it, nothing's too stretched. Okay, so oftentimes when you're unwrapping a model, you want to have some sort of reference image to see how well you're doing it. And typically that's a checkered pattern. So I have a checkered pattern down here. I'm just gonna add it to my model. And you can see just right off the bat, this is how I unwrapped it before. You can see it's, it's not horribly stretched, but there are some places, especially around the fingers, where the checkered pattern is more stretched than others, like around the, the forearm and the palm of the hand. So we're gonna keep this texture on our model just so we can see how, how the stretching happens and how we can improve it. Okay, so I'm gonna delete the UV map of my object. We're gonna unwrap it together. So if we go to standard, this is how your, your setup is automatically. You always wanna to go to UV edit in order to unwrap your model. So if you click your model and go over to edge mode, um, this is where you can identify the edges you want Cinema 40 to cut along. So I'm just gonna add some edge selections and start identifying some seams that I want my model to have. So one thing I should mention, this will make it go a lot faster. Some of you might be somewhat new to Cinema 4D and so there are ways to select lines of edges really fast. Um, one of them is the loop selection tool, which is over here to the left. And that just lets you select specific loops around your model that it can calculate. The other one that's really useful and that I use a lot for UV unwrapping is Path Selection Tool. So if you click between two points, it will select the edges that create the most direct path between those two points. And then if you click Shift, hold the point where you end it on and just do it again, you can end up creating a really good seam or line around your model without too much work. Another thing to keep in mind is that you, wherever you put your cuts, it's gonna create some level of a seam on your model. Um, and so every model is different and requires different things depending on how you're going to use it. Uh, for this particular hand, I'm gonna have the camera basically in this position and the hand's gonna be walking. That being said, I want to see as few seams as I, as I possibly can. So I'm gonna probably put a seam on the back of the forearm under the hand and around the fingers, but under the fingers so that you see it less. And I'll kind of show you how I do that now. So now you can see I have 
at least my preliminary cut. And so once you have um, your edges selected, a smart thing to do is to go over to Select and click Store Selection. And what that's going to do is it's going to just remember um, the edges you selected. So if you need to go back and edit them, you can do that. So you can deselect, select, all that stuff. Okay, so now if you click your cylinder, the first thing you want to do is go to Set UV from Projection and click that. It's going to create a huge mess and you can see our checkered pattern just going insane but that just kind of gives us a base level uv map so once you have your uv map on there you want to just select your save selection tag to make sure that your uv is selected and what you can do is just go to uv unwrap and click uv unwrap so you can see already our texture pattern is a lot more even and it's not perfect like you don't see any seams, which is good, but you still see on the fingers, you have a little bit of stretching. And probably the best way to fix that would be to give some cuts under the finger, just so that it has more of a way to, to lay out. Um, but most of this is, is practice and just trial and error. From this point, you just want to refine your selection uh, by making sure your selection is highlighted and just adding some more cuts and every time you want to save it, make sure you click Command Update. So, so if you click Update, then that will update your selection so that it adds the edges or the deselected edges to your model. Um, and then all you have to do is continually update as you add more cuts or remove cuts until your model's unwrapped how you want it to be. Yeah, that's the basics of UV unwrapping. From here, like we showed with the, this material tag, you can just add your own materials in Cinema 4D, or you can export this and bring it into Substance Painter and texture it from there. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video, but yeah, hope this helped. Thanks guys, bye.